Well, don't forget that it's CTSV ready. Oh yeah, came with a winch, guys. So when we tow Cooper's car around and it breaks, we can just tow it right in. Are you assuming it's gonna break? <laughs> you said it. Hell yeah, brother. You're on the Please Me For On YouTube channel. That's right. Your boys are taking two cars to events now. Dude. So much core strength to hold myself between that gap. Oh, God. Did look pretty fun. Guys. Oh, this is amazing. Did you see that? I know. I know. It's pretty cool. That. That's, that's convenient. Come on guys, let's go. So, guys, and I know we just got a new single car trailer, but this all happened so fast with getting Monica, our new thick girl, and you know, basically we're at a point now where we're like, we get to events and we have nothing to drive around the city because we have Leroy and we have three people and we have Monica. We can't just daily drive Monica. I mean, Holly could, but I don't have the types of skills to drive Monica around and tie, city streets so what you see behind us is like our dream rig like this is where it's all come together because now cooper and i can each bring a car to the event to race so now we'll have two cars at each event we can race them both i mean i guess depending on what we bring even a golf cart in there if we wanted we're gonna give you the full tour this is a used 2014 stacker well it's new to us so it's technically new but used 2014 stacker trailer and it's pretty cool it's 28 feet long does have a longer v-nose on the front for rvs but i'm so excited and we just got this thing like it just got here a couple days ago and we're taking it to indy so that we can bring two cars so let's go on the full tour we're super pumped i hope you guys are too and just to be clear i think we are keeping the single car trailer just for you know, short trips to our local tracks with Leroy and things like that. There's a good chance we're selling the C7 now because we're fully invested in our race rig because we love going to events. We think it's the best type of content and we love meeting everybody around the country. So this is so much and we're so excited and we obviously couldn't do this without you guys watching. So thank you, but let's go on a full tour. Are you ready, Coop? I'll show them. Where should we start, outside or? Um, yeah, might as well start on the outside. Okay. All right, so up front, this is kind of a crazy thing because a lot of people probably realize that Monica doesn't have the strength to pull a trailer this heavy. Most class A RVs only come with a 10,000 pound hitch. So if you get a trailer this big, you got to do something about your hitch because you'll snap that right off the back of that dang thing. Even though Monica's got a thick booty, we need to help her out. So we got this thing up here and this came with our trailer. So not only did we get a smoking deal on a 2014 trailer the guys included this with the purchase so this is called a, a toad basically what it does is it attaches the monica in the front there then it has its own axle and it takes all of the tongue weight of the trailer off of the rv's hitch it's pretty cool really like i mean someone really put some thought into these things and that is going to save monica from snapping her hitch off because let me tell you guys what this thing is heavy and it has a high center of gravity, so imagine the trailer rocking back and forth over every bump. We had to have that, so amazing that we got that when we bought it. So obviously it's taller than freaking me and James standing on top of each other. It's She is huge. And you can see it's got a couple dents, like there's one right up there, a couple scratches. You know, it's used, but it's actually, it's in pretty clean shape. This is our first trailer we've ever had that has its own power too. The other trailer has lights, but they only work if it's hooked to a generator. This has its own batteries in it for the lift and stuff. So I'll show you the awning. Please don't show anyone the awning. Why? Remember what happened last time you tried showing somebody the awning? Why well, I had to show Holly. <laughs> Yeah, guys, the awning on the RV is still broken. I'm only gonna run it out once today, okay? Thank goodness. This will be the only time. Whoa! That's a, that's a jet airplane, this thing is not oh, jet. Oh, I thought it was gonna hit my Tahoe. I left the switch on. Almost broke. <laughs> 
that's a good way to break it. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, this thing is freaking sweet. I don't know if we'll ever use it because we always have our tent out, the Cletus tent. I think we'll use it, Coop. Um, yeah. It, the just for, tent is a lot more work to put out for like when we're at events. We're just at a track, like yeah. a test and tune. Now things aren't completely all set and done. Cooper has been going crazy getting this thing ready and he got a toolbox, started loading it with stuff. It, there's a lot of things to go in here, so come on in. So we got our cheap toolbox. This one does have compartments, kind of like our other trailer, but it doesn't have a Vino, so they're a lot less deep. Kinda, it's a lot less room, but because we have a second story, we're pretty much good to go. Uh, you know, these are all the tools for Leroy, a couple coolers, but all of our bins full of shirts are what really take up room, so we're hoping we can put them all up here. This is load bearing. I'll fill you in on how much she holds in just a minute. Well, don't forget <laughs> that it's CTSV ready. Oh yeah, came with a winch, guys. <laughs> so when we tow Cooper's car around, and it breaks, we can just tow it right in. <laughs> Are you assuming it's gonna break? <laughs> you said it. We'll just put it upstairs and be done with it for the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> True that. So, okay, car lift. Literally, a car lift in a trailer. So it's a four post lift. Now the bonus with having a car lift in your trailer is say we gotta swap a clutch, which would literally be close to impossible on a Corvette on dry pavement and do it quickly on jack stands. I, I wouldn't even do it. If it broke during rounds, I'd probably say, you know what? <laughs> There's no way we can get it done in time. With this, we can literally lift the car up and use the lift to our advantage. So say we just gotta change the oil after an event, if we're in between events, we can lift Leroy up, work all underneath them. It's so convenient. We'll literally have a car lift on hand at all times. So Leroy will definitely always be up top because the V and neighbor are you know extra thick girls so we want the weight towards the bottom this will be where Leroy's gonna ride we're actually gonna load him up in a little bit let's go upstairs oh yeah and when you put the lift up like say we raise Leroy all the way up it's got these holes and there's some giant pins over there and all we do is shove them in the hole rest the lift down on it and uh, strap the car down you're good this is so wild to the loft to the loft James you want to help? Should be able to hold all three of us. Ready? Wow. This is so sick. Look at how fast it goes. Care about those shirts. I don't know how it's gonna react to them. Isn't it fast though? It is cooking. It's faster than our lifts in the garage. Oh, jeez. Oh, they already got a bunch of eye hooks too. That's nice. Yep. Oh, wow. Yeah. Is this good? The room is disappearing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so guys, up here, you, well, Leroy's about this hot on me, so we could actually go higher than this. In the video with the same trailer, they had a freaking, like, might have been a Corvette in a minivan. So if we want to get a minivan, or maybe roll with the Boosted Boys. I would like a minivan. <laughs> You've always wanted a minivan. I know that. <laughs> so, <laughs> so up here, guys, Naturally. this... This bad girl, this loft holds 1,500 pounds, so if per se we got a golf cart up here, or maybe, you know, James and his whole family, he's getting, <laughs> he's having a baby, so we could put James' baby up you here. You could probably put the 240 up here. We could put your 240 up here. Slot it around. I bet you we could share with Leroy. <laughs> <laughs> well, it'd only be like half of it, too, if you back it onto here. <laughs> Just Two it. car? You mean three car? <laughs> <laughs> it's hanging off the end and Leroy's like on the end of the lip. You know, it's like fine. A challenge a couple of jack stands. <laughs> it's fine. So, you can see they definitely... <laughs> God dang, I didn't even see that. This could be a spare bedroom. Throw a window in here. Dude, we should shoot. put your bed up here. <laughs> so you can keep an eye on the cars. We have this weird door in case you want to fall through. Yeah, I, dude, I think we might have to use this one day. Just because, like, if you have the car on the lift, well, I guess you'd probably load the stuff, then... Then put the car up. Yeah. This door is heavy, too. They all have them. So if you want to turn them off... <laughs> but now the switch isn't going to turn it on. Oh. We're good. This is too much fun. Oh, see that? That's smart. They were thinking. They were thinking, guys, look, this is here so you can run the winch over 
and pull a car up on here. It has been used. Also, I guess this is a good time to show you guys Leroy's new intake is done and it looks so freaking sick. Frankenstein 100% billet LS intake manifold. Looking so sick. And that God Bless America 15% off coupon code for their website is still live. But damn, look at that. So Profab welded up on the cold side, adjusted it to fit this intake. We have that new Nick Williams 102 millimeter throttle body on there. It's all looking really good. So let's get this thing loaded up. We are ready for Indy. And in addition to the intake adjustments, while I was at Profab, we did have some custom window nets built quite a while ago and they finally came in. So check these out guys. I mean, that is nice right there. And then we've got one up here for me. Keep my hands and head in the vehicle. It pops in right there like that. Quick disconnect, pops in over here and uh, sits just like that. It's very cool. All right, first car pulling in the stacker. This is thrilling. Guys, we're all talking about whether or not this stuff is gonna fall down. What do you think? I mean, it's only gonna hit Leroy in the worst eh. case scenario. I don't think it's gonna fall. All this stuff weighs a lot and it's, you know, it's up there. This thing didn't bow at all, which is amazing. Like it's not showing any signs of it. That's too much weight. So I think we'll be all right with that. It's time to load up Leroy. This is exciting. It's great. How high do we go? Till the wing touches. <laughs> just those lightly pressing on the roof. Yeah, just figure out a good lock spot. Yeah. Because we can always lower it once, you know, the other car is in. This is crazy. We have to test for minivan clearance. Yep. And many of your future Saturns. Saturns are small. They're compact. You can fit three in here. Look at the wing. So the wing is probably a good six or seven inches, but if we tried to go for the next lock, it might be pretty tight. The, uh, with the wing off, we could go one more lock. If per se, Cooper got a minivan, if, what you're if saying. If Cooper wanted to get his minivan, it will fit with Leroy above it. Wow. So let's strap him down guys, but this is amazing. Leroy is in and ready for Indy. All right, folks, so our pins are in. The lift is lowered down on them. You can see we've got it strapped down. I'm definitely gonna check these straps after we leave. I mean, I'm not nervous. I know it'll be fine, but it's just kind of crazy because it's our first trip. So being that this is a two event trip for us, we have Indy for Streetcar Takeover, and then we have the Ice Cream Cruise in Omaha, Nebraska the weekend after. And uh, it's drag racing and roll racing at both events. I know a lot of you guys are wondering, are we bringing the V or are we bringing Neighbor? But we're actually bringing freaking Neighbor. So. I know you guys might think that's crazy and that you know we should be bringing the V, but Neighbor is ready to drag race. Cooper's got a couple things with his car, like your low oil pressure light that dings all the time. And it's a bad sensor. It's, it's a bad sensor, but also it's like, we wanted to bring Neighbor out. I don't want anyone to think I have low oil pressure in my car. <laughs> it's just a bad, <laughs> I should rephrase that. Yeah, it's Cooper like... has a bad sensor in his car. And even though we replaced it, his car dings the whole time you drive it. It's something I think we need to tune out or figure out if there's a short somewhere. So it dings the whole time we're driving it. Does not have low oil pressure. But we're bringing Neighbor and Cooper, you're gonna drive it at Streetcar Takeover in one of the classes. And break this thing. You're gonna break it? Down? Yeah. You have it coming. <laughs> so Cooper, <laughs> Cooper gets his chance to break Neighbor because I'll obviously be occupied racing Leroy. So Cooper is gonna join a whole nother class and do his best to try and win probably what, the daily driver class, the 12-0 class? Yeah, something like that. We'll we'll just kind of see where she fits in because it hasn't had any like we don't yeah. know what it's gonna run. Yeah, we'll probably get it there and I'll make a hit in it for its first one. So in case something crazy happens, I can be there while driving and then 
Cooper's gonna take it over, put it in a class, and see if he can win. Imagine we get two flags. <laughs> that would be pretty crazy. That would be crazy. But there's gonna be so many people in your class. Yeah. So many. Nothing like Tinker on, on two cars. I know. In between classes. So we have to work on two cars. Well, hopefully they're reliable. Then we might be good. Oh, we'll be looking at logs, though. Yes, like we crazy. will be looking at logs. So Cooper will compete in his first ever drag racing competition class in Neighbor while I get to race Leroy. James isn't coming because he's having a kid. Yep. What if that goes down while we're gone? I mean, it'll be good because I'll be ready to go for the next one. <laughs> <laughs> True. Dude, what if we run at seven while you're gone? Uh, that's going to be a little tear jerker, but it'll be an honor. <laughs> it'll be, dude. Hopefully they both go down and we'll be ready for next event. Oh, yeah. Maybe they could both happen at the same time. Imagine. Then will you name you your baby me. seven? You or call Leroy? me. <laughs> you call me while I call you. We had the baby good. I ran a seven. <laughs> That'd be Honey, the best day go. of our lives. We both share this every birthday of your child. Yeah. I'd be like, and I broke what? neighbor. And Cooper, and Cooper, <laughs> Cooper blows Cooper up in neighbor. The background. I threw the bouncer off neighbor. <laughs> Payback's a bitch. <laughs> I chucked a rod through the box. Oh, yeah. <laughs> And the other thing about Neighbor, too, is like when we're at the ice cream cruise, we want to be able to take a bunch of fans for rides on the road course. And that means four passengers, which if we put four people in the V, it would definitely rub just a hair. You should do a little rubbing in the yeah. back. <laughs> Not only four people, but now with AC. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This has AC now, guys. We got to charge up. So Neighbor's ready to go. Four people. We have burnout tires and we have drag racing tires, too. So we're going to go out there. Cooper's going to give it his best. I'm gonna give it my best in Leroy. I think we're gonna push faster than ever before at Indy for sure. Then we gotta go to Ice Cream Cruise, drag Kyle, do some roll racing with both cars, just have a blast. You called out the ZR1, right? Yeah, neighbor's calling out the ZR1. I hope Kyle's ready. I hope he's ready. But guys, that is it. We are about to back Monica up in here, hook her up to the new stacker and hit the road. I hope you guys are excited that we now can take two cars to each event, like how amazing is that that is huge freaking double the fun double the content but we have a lot of driving to do we're going to indy the race is tomorrow so we have some driving to do i'm gonna end it off there thanks for watching guys do it for dale we'll see you later